Hey gang, welcome to another edition of Doc's Dumpster, where it's a review of the movie Jurassic Park. Well, unless you've been living under a rock or in a cave or in an Amish community or probably been on the moon for the past, I don't know how many years, it's just, it's a movie about a theme park that gets created through the fact that a man named John Hammond makes everything happen. They find a mosquito in some tree sap that's supposed to be prehistoric that could have the DNA blood of dinosaurs and they decide to bring dinosaurs back to life and they do and of course it's another one of those science gone wrong big budget movies in which a theme park is created in which doctors grant and uh, and slatter slater or something I don't know cares uh go to the park to possibly try and invest in it and as you would guess a corrupt programmer named dennis winds up shutting down the electrical wires to keep the dinosaurs inside of the fence when he does that the dinosaurs get out and cause all kinds of chaos and the dinosaurs, at least the ones that eat meat, go around and eat just about everybody, including Newman and um, Samuel L. Jackson and uh, some guy with some sort of a weird accent. Yeah. So then some raptors go after our heroes. Uh, Alan, Ellie, Tim, and Lex follow him to the to this building where it's supposed to be where, where they go to eat everything seems to be alright till the raptors start attacking and they almost get to them they have them cornered in one spot of it until the almighty T-Rex comes in and fights off the raptors maybe the T-Rex isn't such a bad guy I mean he did eat a lawyer in the movie so gotta give him that And so Alan, Ellie, Tim, Lex, John Hammond, and uh, the guy who was played by uh, Jeff Goldblum all escape the island in a helicopter. And as they fly off, they see a bunch of pterodactyl flying by, and they all smile. Isn't that lovely? Movie stars Sam Neill, Laura Dern. Uh, Jeff Goldblum, Wayne Knight, Samuel L. Jackson, and some other people who I totally forgot were even in the movie. So now, the big bad question is, is that uh, does this movie really belong in a dumpster? Well, maybe the answer... Yeah, yeah, it does. <laughs> uh, sorry, but that, that's the best <laughs> dinosaur sound effect that I could get. Uh, a lot of people have been asking me for a really, really, really long time, why did I hate this movie? And I'll tell you, it didn't impress me, honestly. The first time I had a chance to watch it was with my mom and my dad and my younger brother. And we watched it with with uh, some neighbors we had at the time, and they totally ruined the movie. So, uh, dad got irritated, walked, walked out of the room about halfway into it, and, um... Uh, and to tell you the truth, I, I really just didn't care for it that much. I thought it was kind of predictable, and uh, I just wasn't that impressed. But then my Uncle Tom sent me a copy of it, and uh, along with a few other movies on a video cassette. And uh, I tried watching it again with my dad because, you know, dad didn't get to see all of it. And he felt the same way I did. The movie was just really not all that great. It was uh, the first movie we ever watched that ha that made a, the biggest budget at the, at the time, and we were just really disappointed in it. Um, not that great of a movie. Uh, I didn't care for it. I mean, was, some of the special effects were okay; they were pretty cool. But I think, really, all in all, I mean, nine hundred million dollars at the box office—that's a little much, and. Um, it's just not one of those movies that I, I I wanted to see over and over and over and over and over again. And if you're wondering, will there be a review of 
Jurassic Park 2 and 3 and Jurassic World, don't hold your breath. <laughs> because I didn't like Jurassic Park 2. I, I, I liked it even... Uh, actually, I should say I liked it even less, or I disliked it even more than I did this movie. And Jurassic Park 3 to me was probably the most boring of them all. And Jurassic World, I've heard not really many good things on it so so there you guys go i just want to save yourselves a little bit of time on that one but there you guys have it a review of jurassic park it belongs in the dumpster and i hope the t-rex eats the dumpster while he's at it and flosses afterwards of course uh if you like my videos feel free to subscribe and if you have something that you think belongs in a dumpster well send it my way and i'll get on it asap thank you guys so very very much for watching and until next time as always Stay strong and rock on.